it's Winnie from the Scientific Historical Society, and I'm here at Toy Monkey Studios at Comic Con 2012. And I'm here to interview Scott. Hello, I'm Tom Scott. Monkey. Yes, I'm Scott Sawn, president of Toy Monkey, and I'm here to talk to you about the uh, Scientific Two statues that uh, are coming out at the end of the year. Okay, what drew us to the series was, uh, first of all, we're very hardcore fans. I mean, the president, uh, myself, uh, all the sculptors involved, we all love the game. We've all been it multiple times, and we all just wanted to get our hands on it. We wanted to make something official, right? So, since, uh, you know, a powerful headlong gained so much popularity with this, uh, you know, kids, I mean, I mean, actually, decided to take it to the next level and go into, you know, manufacturing, and, uh, you know, this is his debut piece as, uh, with the manufacturer. Yeah. Worldwide, definitely. Uh, I mean, not in every country, obviously, but you can't expect to see it all over the world. Will you find the statues include color variants or special packaging? Definitely special packaging, definitely color variants. And, uh, uh, you know, color variants, I can't really confirm at the moment, but it all just is relative to uh, what we get approval for. Basically. All right. What sort of price range are we looking at for these statues, and when do you think they'll be available? Okay, they're going to be available after the movie, sometime in November or December. Although we're going to try our best to get it closer to that movie launch. Uh, MSRP is going to be 150. Uh, although that's not really set. It could be a little bit higher. It could be a little bit lower. We will have that all officially announced when it's ready. Okay, will that information actually be on your website? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Can, can you tell us a bit about the artists behind the statues? How did you find them? Right. Well, um, Akao, for example, was sought out because of his uh, love for Silent Hill, and uh, Gecko Toys commissioned him to start this first piece. And actually, I met all of them through one of my good friends I used to work with domestically here for over 10 years. Uh, his name is Shin Tanabe, and he is probably one of the best artists in terms of sculpting the female figure. So it was natural to pick him to do the, uh, the bubblehead nurse. You know, uh, it was it's just uh, it's beautiful. It's very, it's very Shin Tanabe, and he is, uh, he is good at what he does. They're both very good at what they do. So about a cow, uh, a cow is actually one of those artists that only come around once in a while. Like sometimes artists have like certain like skills, but a cow personally is really really good at muscle expression, and not just muscle expression, but like how to make muscles look more even natural than actually always tense and flexing. You know what I mean? And uh, he pulls it off very very well in this statue. He's uh, he's especially known for that. He can sculpt animals actually. His animal sculptures are like mind blowing. You know, you think like you'd have to sculpt something like name brand or whatever, but his animal sculptures are like amazing, you know, and you talk about human anatomy, blows everybody away. Blows everybody away. Uh, oh, we're getting close to Jay's I know some collectors yeah. prefer to paint and oh, yeah. put together the kids themselves. Yeah, yeah. Obvious, right? Yeah. yeah. Will these um, statues be available both unpainted and unassembled, and then of course painted and assembled? Well, currently we still have it. Uh, that to be a fully painted, pre-painted statue, but we have been getting a lot of responses about how people want to have it just in grace and they get painted themselves. We cannot confirm that at the moment, but we will take it into consideration, definitely. Are you guys planning to expand the line to include other games in the franchise? Uh, yes, we're definitely interested in doing all the Silent Hills, but we just have to take it one at a time and, uh, you know, keep it going for as long as possible. As a collector myself, I'm surprised in the past there hasn't really been any figures or statues made of the human characters right, in the characters. games. Do you guys think your line will include the non-creature characters like James uh, Maria, Harry? Well, I mean, being so hardcore from Silent Hill fans, I mean, let's say hypothetically we do all the characters like monsters, so there's no way to not do the main characters. So I can see us, you know, definitely dabbling with that or at least doing some concepts in the near future. Again, we can't confirm anything. So far, it's just these two guys, but we're definitely fantasizing about it. What drew you to Silent Hill 2 for your first run of statues? Well, I think it's just a good Silent Hill to start with. It was it's considered by a lot to be like the best Silent Hill. Um, of course, that's just like you know some people's opinions. But at the same time, you know it's always good to start from the beginning. You know, and uh, if we keep it going, obviously we'll run we'll, we'll through them all if we can. You know. If you could do a second run, which Silent Hill characters would you like? 
like to see done and why? I would just like to see more monsters personally, um, and probably you know some of the main characters too. But I definitely would like to see a super version of some more like a cow stuff, and I would definitely like to see Shin Tsunabe sculpt another female you know, character, whether that's like a main character or, or another monster. You know? you know what? I would like to see actually um, spoilers for Silent Hill 2. Uh, uh, Mary's boss form, like up oh, on the rack, right? the butterflies. Yeah, that could be like a wall relief or something, right? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Right? That'd be I mean, awesome. definitely fantasizing about everything. So we'll, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, do you think it's possible that you guys could create uh, real life replicas of the items found in the game? That is a very charming idea, and we always try to get to pretend, you know, that we, uh, you know, we actually try to make those all the time, like a real life, like butcher, like you know, yeah. thing, and like a radio. Like, sure, anybody can make a broken radio, right? Um, I don't know, but I, I honestly think that's definitely a huge possibility. You know? I would love to get like a, a replica of the health drinks, but oh, I'm hurt. I gotta. A uh, what? What? A health drink. Oh, right, right. Yeah, health right. Drinks or or um, the hyper spray. The hyper spray for sure, like in the form of a dust off. Okay. You know. <laughs> there's a Princess Heart earmuffs. Those are great too. Right, right. What other franchises are you guys planning on making collectibles for? We're definitely gonna get, you know, gonna do whatever we can get our hands on. We definitely like video game franchises, but what's more important is uh, finding a franchise that we have artists that are gonna be passionate about, you know, making cards for. Uh, Tomaki Studios is definitely focused on the artist's uh, artist point of view, and uh, we want to make sure that their hearts are in it, so they produce a quality product. Actually, can you tell me a little bit more about the artist who's doing the painting for these? Uh, yes, the, the, the artist that we have commissioned to do the painting is actually a. Uh, Going through Gecko uh, Japan, and uh, uh, I believe the, the bubble, bubble nurse isn't approved yet. But while the uh, pyramid head sculpture is approved, we're currently getting the paint paint job approved. We'll have that and all those pictures available and all that information available when it's approved. You know, example like let's say if that doesn't go well, then we really shouldn't be advertising that he yeah. painted it. But the most important thing is that the painting will definitely be on par with the sculpture. The BM part will definitely complement the sculpture and not really hide anything. That's the most important part. Alright, well thank you for talking. Is that it? Thank you.